got me some tea and I'm drinking it with the straw because you already know I have all the gloss. So <laughs> January is pretty much over. I know for a fact that I'm not the only one who probably didn't, you know, do exactly what they had planned. Probably um, is still trying to figure out what, you know, they want their year to look like and what their goals are. So that's why we're here. If you're new to my channel, you'll probably learn a few new things about me <laughs> when you, uh, you know, as you listen to me set my own goals. Well, go ahead and get yourself a pen and a paper or something because these goals aren't gonna write themselves. I figured, why don't we start with YouTube? Uh, Cause that's probably, you know, that's very a common goal that I know a lot of people share. I shared this on my channel recently before actually, but my current goal for YouTube is to uh, reach the monetization requirements, uh, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours by March. So I have this thing in my head. I keep telling myself like monetize by March, monetize by March. I am not sure if everybody, like if you're watching this, if everybody who's watching has heard of this before. When it comes to goal setting, you kind of don't just want to like be lackadaisical when you're doing that. Cause this is, you know, or it could potentially determine, um, obviously, you know, how your year turns out. And so your goals should be realistic or slash attainable. They should be measurable and um, they should also be like time sensitive. So this obviously varies depending on the goal, but it basically is just saying, hey, create some goals for one create some goals that you can actually and realistically like reach don't go and you know set a goal that's like almost humanly impossible to reach because you're just going to set yourself up for disappointment you should set goals that actually allow you to like measure your progress so that's the measurable part if your goals are measurable then you'll actually be able to see like how things are changing because that's not always evident sometimes if you just start doing something but you don't have any like checkpoints in place or a way to like you know quantify that it's hard to tell what's actually changing so it's kind of like the difference between saying i want to get healthy in 2024 versus i want to lose x amount of pounds in 2024 or i want to gain x amount of uh, weight or in muscle mass you know by june or something another example is i want to save more money this year you see how that's kind of just really general it doesn't really like give you any grounds to hold yourself accountable and to like measure your progress or set a deadline so you know when you want to reach this by when instead you could say i want to put a hundred dollars a week into savings this year and reach x amount of money by the end of 2024 or by whenever you want to reach it and that's of course after calculating you know your uh, expenses and your bills versus your income and seeing whether that's actually realistic for you don't go saying you're gonna save you know a thousand dollars a month when you only make I don't know 24k a year or $15 an hour because unless you I don't know scamming it's not gonna happen <laughs> hopefully I'll get the gist for me for YouTube I know what numbers I want to reach it's obviously measurable you know I can track these things I see how my views are doing etc and I know when I want to do it by you know I got the whole monetized by March thing so I'm hoping for that but of course there's always the fact that I'm trying to do that while not just worrying about the numbers and that's with any goal it's also of course about me doing that while maintaining quality content for y'all um and while building that like healthy like quality community where you know we can talk about things and discuss things and have um a safe space to you know chat about all the juicy topics i'll be talking about next is my actual personal uh health related goals if i'm looking down uh this is another thing that i always do i always write stuff down in my notebook it's just helpful. I'm not trying to be just rambling, you know? So here's the thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I know I just was talking about how, um, you know, goals should be like quantifiable and measurable and like definitive. But my health goals are kind of just, you know, a little bit less that. <laughs> For me, uh, being healthy in 2024 it looks just like me seeing a visible um, and I guess seeing it a difference in my body and feeling a difference in my body. However, I do kind of measure my diet and exercise in different ways. I actually intermittent fast. I've done that on and off, you know, recently or in like my adult life. I've done that. I started for the first time like that last year and I really enjoyed it. But of course, like I fell off and stuff. So here we are. I've started now for about like uh, really just I've got off on and off again already this year, but that's okay. Cause we're back on and I've been on for like a week. So I'm doing that. And if you don't know what intermittent fasting is, you can look it up, but I do the 16, eight. So I fast for 16 hours, eat during the period of eight hours 
and that repeats every day and there's a bunch of benefits to that that i'm not gonna get into i also want to try and hit the gym y'all starting in february i'm gonna try to hit the gym uh at least four out of the seven days of the week so i'm actually gonna film my gym journey that's kind of hard to say i'm gonna film my gym journey for you guys um and it's gonna be you know you're gonna see everything me starting from zero i've been to the gym before but of course haven't been consistent not in shape at this current state in my life so we're basically starting from zero and i'm gonna catch it all for you guys it's gonna be a whole journey so it would be really dope i figured to have people come along with me and again i'm all about transparency on this channel so um you know for those of us who aren't already gym rats and who you know aren't already in shape no sh no shame to y'all you know of course more power to you you're where we want to be but uh for those who are also you know starting a new thing um it would be dope if we could do that together so subscribe and stay tuned for that so the next goal that i have is a really fun one this is really hot <laughs> i tried to like take a sip and be cute for the camera but i can't i made this just before i turned on my camera so it's not happening the next goal that i have is a really really fun one that i'm so excited to talk about if you know me then you know that i am just so 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 in love with the world of gardening and the wonder of like discovering nature cycles and just learning about gardening and agriculture and the earth and how everything works together right and ultimately that falls like for me under the umbrella of self-sufficiency this is actually like it ties into one of the like more long-term bigger dreams that i have i want to just build a life that is you know yes filled with self-sufficiency but also just you know reaping the other benefits of nature just being kind of one with the rest of god's creation because if you're anything like me i didn't you know like grow up in like in the outdoors and in that environment and on a farm or anything like that um so you know being like living in the city we're really detached from that and just like detached from the way like our food gets to our tables and you know the way that nature the life cycles of things and plants work all these things ultimately also just like the best part providing my body and my taste buds with like the best quality food possible and i'm so 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 glad that like our generation i feel like is really like waking up to this and learning to cultivate the earth again and why it's important and just how much better the food is than like supermarket food now in regards to my goal though like i had already said i didn't grow up with this lifestyle and so i'm currently like learning and i've been doing research for a long time on how to make this work for my current setting um basically i'm trying to figure out how to start a garden with no land but it's okay because you know that's on my 2025 uh goal list is land acquiring land but we gotta work with what we got i have some leftover materials from last year and my goal for this year is to have a, a really healthy and thriving kind of indoor kitchen garden um by spring you know i'm starting i'm figuring out what i need figuring out my timeline and uh, it's gonna happen it's on my goal list it's really important that goes along with my fitness journey to be able to harvest fresh fruits and vegetables like from right in my kitchen that'll be so important to me personally i think too just because if you've watched you know several of my videos um it's been a long journey of just like getting to a place where i'm financially mentally and uh like time like available per se i have the you know financial capacity and all these different things to be able to do that now um because it is an investment it's like a startup cost if you've been on the journey with me if you're like my age and you've been adulting you know <laughs> so i'm really excited and it's just gonna be so beautiful as of now we have three distinct goals that i've talked about but i'm only going to share one more not because those are all you know that's like encompasses all the goals that i have but just because i don't want to share too much and i don't want to create an overwhelming list i think a lot of times we can tend to go overboard right and set like 15 new goals and now we're trying to start like do 15 things at once you know develop 20 new habits all at one time and you know there's only so much we can focus on at one time as tempting as that is it's like self-sabotage because it becomes overwhelming and therefore ultimately unsustainable and you don't accomplish any of them in the long run you just quit or fail so with that in mind i'm going to uh see if i can take a sip of tea nope <laughs> I felt the bottom of the glass. This is uh, turning out to be a prop. I thought this was gonna be a cool thing, you know, like we can sip tea, set goals, sip tea, set goals. You see, you see the vibes? It's okay, I feel like my true internet friends will be locked in with me on the vibes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway my last goal but definitely of course not in the least whatsoever my last goal is to just strengthen my marriage and a big part of doing that is saving up for our honeymoon <laughs> 2024 is our honeymoon year whoop whoop 
last year, I mean, you obviously know because you've been watching my videos, you should be caught up, that we got married a few months ago in 2023. Um, but we you know we had to save up some funds. So that, you know, obviously is a big thing that's important to us. We are working towards that goal of saving up enough money because we obviously want to do this responsibly. And I would say that this is definitely one of those goals, you know, that we got to put some specifics to because, you know, the point in this is just that you want to be able to hold yourself accountable. This is one of those things you can say like, yeah, you know, we want to do this this year. Next thing you know, you never actually budgeted for it. So we do have a specific dollar amount that we are trying to get to. Um, and we do have a, a specific time of year that we want to reach that by. Um, however, I feel like I'm not going to reveal that because for some reason, LOL, that just feels personal. But know that we are doing the thing and we are taking the steps necessary to prepare um you know in every way for a great honeymoon and save up so that we can uh be on the right track you know before and after the honeymoon <laughs> so yeah guys these are mostly the goals that i'm prioritizing even though i have many 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 more <laughs> i just do hope you know for you guys wherever you are when you're watching this or for you uh because you're probably just one person <laughs> that um if you have aspirations for this year that you're in a good place to make those things happen it's probably gonna take you know regardless of what your goals are it's probably gonna take lots of planning and lots and lots and lots of discipline and consistency but also remember to give yourself grace and be kind to yourself while we're on these you know journeys whatever it is my community we are also almost at 700 subscribers so if you made it to this point in the video i hate to be that person but i really need you to hit the subscribe button <laughs> um no you know if you if this is your jam especially if you liked any of the goals that i talked about they resonate with you you should really stick around go ahead and click the subscribe button i have so much content related to these things coming up um but yeah that's all for this one y'all we're going into february you got this let's do this <laughs> i'll see y'all